The Rwanda bill has cleared its first hurdle in the House of Lords despite uh, Ken Clark ridiculing the law and uh, warning that it moves our country towards an elected dictatorship. Uh, and uh, he says that this was a step too far. Uh, the safety of the Rwanda bill declares Rwanda a safe country. And um, it's uh, it, it, last night it passed its second reading uh, after a motion designed to block it was defeated by 206 votes to 84. Um, Lord Clark uh, said that declaring Rwanda a safe country was startling uh, because it would overturn a finding of fact by the Supreme Court judges while not allowing the courts to even consider evidence to the contrary. This is very dangerous, a very dangerous constitutional provision, and I hope it will be challenged properly in the courts. Claiming the sovereignty of Parliament is like claiming the colour black is the colour white, all dogs are cats. More seriously, that someone who has been acquainted, acquitted of a criminal charge is guilty of a criminal charge and should be returned to that court for sentence. Where are the limits? I always fear... As time goes by in my career, echoes of the warnings that former Lord Chancellor uh, Lord Helsham used to give us about the risks of moving towards an elected dictatorship in this country. The sovereignty of this parliament has, he says, its limits, which are the limits of the rule of law, the separation of powers, and what ought to be the constitutional limits on any branch of government in a liberal democracy such as ours. He might have also said the limits of language. He said, the government should now test the policy again in the courts if it now believes Rwanda is safe, and uh, said that he would be voting against the bill to water, uh, to, um, uh, to, um, uh, to water down the bill with amendments. He said that um, he would not support attempts to kill off the bill completely because the main effect of that would be to get the government out of the hole that it has dug itself. Uh, they have absolutely based far too much on this Rwanda policy, putting it at the heart of their political ambitions to the election to be able to turn around and say they would have stopped the votes, but the unelected House of Lords and the Liberal Democrats and the Metropolitan Elite stop them will save this government from what I think are its follies, from crashing on its on with this policy in this way, and I hope we won't fall into that trap. Uh, and um, he spoke just after Justin Welby, um had uh, said that the government's Rwanda policy was harming Britain's international reputation. Um, Dr. Welby said, in a time when the greatest issues of war, peace, defence and security need us to be united. Um, he, uh, I, he's right. Ken Clark is right. The government is absolutely wrong. Um, and uh, the, 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 the invoking of the of the idea that um, uh, Strasbourg lawyers might intervene with flights to Rwanda. Well, they might, uh, but the real issue here is that the British government has picked a fight with the British Supreme Court. And it's not lefty lawyers, it's not foreign lawyers in this particular case, it's the Supreme Court. What the Supreme Court says the government wishes to overturn. That in itself, I think, sets a precedent where any criminal can turn around and say, well, you, you made a judgment. I don't agree with it. I'm going to redefine it. If a criminal had the power of government, then they would just redefine the law, redefine it, because they don't like the sentence that suggests the government is criminal.